Yeah, so um, what do y'all think about this, man? Let's see, pandemic, pandemic, check. Outage, global IT outage, affected many of things, check. I think we're just waiting on one more thing. Waiting for the elections to be over, and uh, we're waiting for the banks to start to collapse. So the pandemic taught you to stay in your house. Don't really ask no questions. Don't really buck against what you're being told to do. The outage, that's just going to keep you inside, right? And the outage will happen so that they can reinstitute whatever they need for the banking system. Basically like a forced bank holiday. But it wasn't intentional. I mean, those are just my views on this day. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Call me a conspiracy theorist. It's just things, uh, you know, it's just really recognizing patterns. And if all of this stuff goes back to the financial elements. If you go down, I don't care what the problem is, if you go down to what the financial element is of that problem, you're going to start to notice certain connections and certain things that happen in order to make those events happen. And on the surface, it may just seem purely emotional, purely political, purely whatever. But we know that most things are happening due to financial circumstances. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, like I said, call me a conspiracy theorist, but I think that's kind of a lock, stock and barrel. If you know, because if you're studying the debt and credit markets and you know a lot of the, the basil, 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 however the hell you want to pronounce it or however it's pronounced, you know some of the regulations that have been put in place. Mm, the banks don't really agree with those because it's making their dirty laundry get aired out. And it's making their dirty laundry get aired out because... The regulation is there to try to find where these problems are because a lot of times these banks using derivatives, you know, fancy option chain marriages, uh, swaps, swaptions. Yeah, sounds like I made that up, right? But that's actually a thing. Swaptions, look it up. All of these esoteric high finance complex mathematical algorithms that are putting together these things and managing them. They don't know where the risk is at. A lot of times they don't know where the risk, and guess what happens? See, what people don't realize is that 2008 was caused because counterparties that were dealing with each other could not, could no longer appropriately, what they felt appropriately, assess the risk in dealing with the counterparty, the other person on the other side of the transaction. So as you start to have problems with that, that system starts to blow up. Well, how would you cover that up? I'm just being a conspiracy theorist right now. How would you cover that up? Okay. They figure out this thing is going to blow up. And there's really no way for us to stop blowing it up because we actually need to blow it up so that we can restart and reset some things, right? The Great Reset. Okay? Real interesting thing. Look up the word reset, but type in, Google this. I want you to Google. Reset. Legal definition of reset. And I want you to read that. Very interesting, right? Um, but the reset, right? So you, the reset blows up. Okay, we have a banking blow up. Doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a very big bank. A lot of times the problems emanate from somewhere else, and then boom, you know, you, you don't think that it was coming from right field, and it came from right field, right? So a lot of times they don't know. They don't know where these things come from. Remember, subprime wasn't an issue. But when banks started failing in France, it started to spread like wildfire, right? in France, 
right? See, a lot of people don't realize that. You, you don't, most people aren't reading though, right? You know, I'm always talking about reading. So if you really look and see where the financial, the, the, the GFC, the great financial crisis really emanated from, it emanated, I forget what, which bank or which institution it was, but a lot of it started in France and overnight it started to make and have challenges because you know you know these systems, country wise, are are interlinked. But the the problem with subprime that blew up in America it actually started in France. You this is this is that's not conspiracy. You can look that up. You can research that. You'll find it. It really started in France when you get down to the bottom of it. But I digress. So I I see something that can happen where you you can have a bank blow up as a result of the bank blowing up they're going to need time in order to situate and sift through things and try and reset things so the next would you have you have a IT issue that happens so you have a bank holiday right bank holiday basically no banking activity going on right banking holidays have been instituted by governments before all right. So you'll have a bank holiday, whether they want to call it that or not. If all the tech goes down and the banking system and the financial systems have to freeze because of this, that's a bank holiday. Whether it's officially classified as that, that's what it is. So I could totally see that happen. And if, you know, for whatever reason they needed to. Next thing you know, you got the next variant. The next COVID happening so you know that's just my conspiracy thinking mind you know I like to extrapolate things and go off on tangents and explore different options like what could happen why would it happen who would benefit it benefit most from it happening you know it's not a prediction it's just me kind of extrapolating thought in different tangents kind of like you know Marvel Universe going to different timelines. Oh, well, this happened in this timeline, so it branched off and it made this other two timelines. You know, stuff like that. You know, I, I, I kind of do that, like to have fun with that in my mind. But understanding that these things are real and regardless of whether they're officially stated or narrated a certain way, doesn't take away from the fact that they, they happen, right? A lot of times people are looking for someone to blame or something to blame. And of course, if you're trying to do something behind the scenes, you're going to get that thing blamed on something else. So just some thoughts.